Detail lines are annotation objects in Revit, and they are used for annotation purposes, in the same way that we use dimension lines or text. Now, suppose I want to draw a line here to indicate this is a different area of that room. I go to the Annotate tab, click on Detail Line, then go to this endpoint and draw it, for example, towards that wall. As you can notice, several line styles are loaded by default into the project, and we can always create new ones if we want. Let's select the line and bring it to wide lines. One main characteristic of the detail lines is that they only show in the view that I create them. This is very important. If I draw, for example, a circle outside and go to a 3D view, you can see that it's not showing there. Now, have a look at this tip. We can use detail lines as support lines to draw walls, for example. Let's draw again a detail line. And I will show you an example where this can be useful. I draw a line here because I want to use its midpoint to draw a wall. I type WA to activate the command to insert a wall, then I can find the midpoint and draw a vertical wall up to the top. But, ah, ok, if I want it to be exactly in the middle between those two walls, I press escape once and change the wall location to center line here. And now I'm sure it's exactly where I want it. So we can use detail lines to help us on our sketching, and when we don't need them anymore, we can simply delete them. Now on the Architecture tab, there is a very similar tool, Model Lines, and you can see that the symbol is also identical. But what is the difference between them? Model lines are real elements, and that means they will appear in all the views as soon as we draw them. I'm going to activate the model line on the Architecture tab, then the line style is find this one. For example, this could be a pavement at the entrance of the house, and when I finish, I can switch again to the 3D view. And this time, look, the lines appear there. Convert detail lines in model lines. Now let's see this example. We have here a plan view of a kitchen. And I will draw two dashed lines to indicate that the area of the right is dedicated for dining. Turn on detail line. And then I will use the line style hidden lines, which are dashed green lines. So I'm going to draw two here. Now that I have finished, I switch to the 3D view, and as you expect, they are not displayed there. Great, but suppose that later I have changed my mind, and I want these lines to appear in all the views. Imagine them as a real separation, for example, a boundary painted on the floor, even if it sounds a bit hypothetical. But that's simple. If I select both, at the Modify tab, there is an option to convert detail lines into model lines. Click there, and they will show up in all the views that we have in this file. The opposite is also possible. I can convert model lines in detail lines. But then, have in mind, that these lines keep showing only in the current view. The system erases them from all the other perspectives. Now let's see a different example. This time I want to draw model lines on this wall. Here the lines can represent real objects, just as wall joints or a separation between different materials. But how can I do this? Let's see. When you try to draw a line directly in the wall, you can notice it's getting a bit hard to snap points here, and even the vertical direction. It looks like that we can't draw exactly on the place we expect. But if I rotate the view, 
you can see the lines actually went to the ground floor. And that's because I have the placement plane set as ground floor. So I need to change it. I click on the list, but all the other options are still floor plans. What should I do? I have to pick that wall as my specific drawing plane. I select pick, and in this window, I choose pick a plane. Then we have to select a wall, but be careful. Make sure the correct wall is highlighted the moment just before you click. Ah, and click only once. We may think nothing happened because the wall is not highlighted anymore. But you can always be sure that it was selected if you look at the placement plane. Finally, I can easily draw the lines using the snaps at the windows. And to connect to the roof, there are also intersections here. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Cat in Black to watch the full list of tutorials for beginners on Rabbit. There are also AutoCAD tutorials if you are interested. So see you next time!